Hey beauties and gents, it's your girl Lini and welcome to Inner Beauty Out and today I wanted to sit down and do a different type style video. I've watched this many times. I have taken a lot of tips from videos like these and as the title probably says, it will be my first Amazon favorites video. Um, I am someone who avidly probably too much shops on Amazon for a lot of great things only because um, one I'm an Amazon Prime member, two um, I've shared my shop with you guys before and three just the shipping turnaround time is just amazing. I'm an imp impatient person if I cannot get something um, in the stores I ideally will and depending on when I need it by, I typically go by Amazon. Um, I love their customer service when it comes to things that you're not satisfied with. Um, and then the ability to just return it. I purchase things for work. Um, and when I mean purchase things for work, it's not purchase things for my office through my Amazon Prime um, because it's just that efficient. It's just like that um, accessible as far as like the line of things, the endless things that they have and categories that they have from furniture to um, purchasing TVs, like I mean just endless, endless amounts of things, especially these days, headphones um, to work from home and things like that. But anyway, needless to say, today's about to be Amazon favorites and um, I'm happy that I could come and sit down and kind of do a part one situation with you guys. I want to say part one only because I have so many things and if I were to take the time to like literally deep dive in all the things that I've purchased then it would be um be quite sad. <laughs> so uh, let's just jump right into it. There's no particular order in terms of the things I'm going to show you. Um, it doesn't mean that I like it any less or any much better but these are the things for me right now that are working um, for me and so I just wanted to share it with you. Alright so it's been really hot. It's the summertime even though we're in COVID. Um, things are slightly opening up. I'm not the type of girl who um, in terms of being this beat most of the time, maybe not like this but like in terms of being beat most of the time, who um, really enjoys sitting outside unless it's like the evening time um, when it's a lot cooler but like midday humidity um, is not my thing it's not your girl's thing and I know there's a couple other people who are like me um, but anyway what I invested in and this is actually something I purchased for my kit as a freelance makeup artist but it also works personally um, and it's actually this little mini fan um, I love this because <laughs> it serves as a walking light fan <laughs> a portable fan which I love and I have shamelessly I don't want to say shamelessly like unshamelessly I'm not shameful about this but <laughs> um I brought this on a date <laughs> um and I don't I don't really like I don't feel bad about it I've gone out to like wine tours you know and so basically it has a couple settings um I don't know if you can hear it but oof, this feels good right now so she's pretty strong she has three levels and it's just the uh, the power button is right there and then it's actually rechargeable so you don't have to worry about purchasing batteries all the time this is one of my smaller ones it's really compact so you can just fold it up and just like put it away and you know store it really cool um, really tightly or whatever if you're not you're like limited on space but I just love the fact that it's also tiny that you can just kind of carry it along it is a little like maybe a little obnoxious but um i uh i think it's awesome people might make fun of me for having this but then when it's hot you might ask me to borrow it too i'm just saying so first one is this fan um second thing i picked up was an electric lighter um i thought this was really interesting um and really cool i felt the need to i've been looking at this for a while and you're probably looking at this like what um, how is that a lighter but you'll see but what I thought was cool and what pushed me to do this even more was we had a couple like bad storms that knocked out our power and um, we needed to use candles and so I had gotten to the very low p I think I might still have the candle so <laughs> I used up this candle I've never used up a complete candle but I used up this candle um, I had purchased this from TJ Maxx or whatnot um, and so 
<laughs> I used I used it up. Needless to say, if you're using one of those flicker candles, those lighter ones that you like for cigarettes or whatever the case may be, like you and me with nails, it's just not gonna work having to put your hand in there and light it up at the same time. So um, I needed something a little bit longer, and I also had ran out of the regular one that had the liquid, um, the lighter fluid. So um, I had came across this, and I thought it was super cool. So basically, you lift, you push this button up and it reveals this power button right here and essentially okay, you probably can't see it there you go and what's cool about this is that it never runs out right like so you just as long as you can charge it like this is good to go um it's safe to me because the fire piece that would ignite anything is able to come down once you slide this thing back down um so i thought this was kind of cool and a great way to even i don't know i guess i don't know if this is travel safe but i think this is pretty smart if we ever lose power um uh, we'll always have a lighter on deck and um i think it's just kind of a neat thing to have in the house all right so another thing that i purchased i am a avid collector of cell phone cases I like to switch them up quite often um, and so with them I also like to use um, rings and stuff too and I purchased this one from Amazon I thought this was really really cool um, and so this did not come with it but um, I use I had a iPhone 11 and so um this was like less than ten dollars for the case and i thought it was really really cool I, this is my second time purchasing this i love the fact that it's a square um kind of like case versus it being like your your typical rounded case and i'll show you exactly what i mean by like how it looks on my phone without hopefully blinding anyone so here it is with my phone in it um i do have like the lavender iphone 11 um, and I just think it's like just super sleek and super cool and essentially the slider part is what I thought was really cool it's a you purchase this independent and um, essentially what I loved about this was that sometimes you put a ring on your phone because you and you think you're centered um, or you're not sure whether you want it low or if you want it high on a phone but once you stick it you're done um, so what's cool about this is the ability to kind of slide up and slide down um, and it's pretty durable and you can turn it you know however which way you want so now when you're taking a selfie and you just need to like position yourself really well like you can do it you know like you can bring it to the position you want um, whether it's in the center whether it's slightly a little bit higher whatever the case may be and then stick your finger and have a little bit more stability in terms of like how you want to hold your phone so I thought it was really cool and it's just cute like it's, I don't know it's, some people might think gold is too flashy anyway um, with that I've also gotten um, again other like I've been on this neon cake and I have this also for my airpods but um, this is another case if you can see it has like the little like iridescent kind of silver glitterish um, specs on it now you don't have to have this this is just a piece of paper that you can that's inside that you can kind of put in there you could use it clear if you wanted to but I like it like this I think it's kind of cute and I normally wouldn't but I love it I love this because it's thin it's foldable and what's important is that the edges are raised enough so that if this were to fall like your phone won't crack and the same thing with this one um, if your phone were to fall your it won't crack because it's raised um, so depending on how it falls I should say that but I got this off of Amazon I thought it was a great buy and I just wanted to share that with you as well so something else I purchased off of Amazon um, was really during a lot of this is during quarantine um, and <laughs> I've always been as a creative um, into adult coloring um, I've loved coloring since I was a child and I don't know if that's probably why I'm in the field of just being a creative um, or doing YouTube or doing makeup whatever the case may be but it still sticks with me and it's a way to really relax your mind so sometimes I'll have an audiobook um, excuse me playing in the background or music playing in the background or I have Netflix playing in the background I'm someone who multitasks quite often and so um, to kind of relax and not think about it things too much or if I've had a long day and I want some wine and I just want to decompress I like to color so I found two cool um, 
kind of like uh, coloring books that I, I really, really, really have enjoyed. Um, and this is kind of twofold, a set of markers too, and it comes with its own little bag. This is by Shuttle Art. Um, so I'm going to show you the coloring books first, and the reason why I like this in comparison to your, like, your traditional like coloring books. First of all, it flips this way, like notepad, kind of like a notepad essentially. Um, it has 50, ooh, excuse me, it has 50 different illustrations in it. Um, and this is one that I've been really holding on to as far as not touching. But essentially, um, the paper is actually really like canvas paper. Like, I don't want to say canvas paper, but it's it's pretty thick. So um, the colors won't bleed through. Um, so this, these have like these kind of scenic images. I'm going to just jump to some of them. These are like more complex. I like depending on what I'm, I'm feeling sometimes I like bigger photos that I can color and some of them are sometimes I like intricate stuff Ooh, this is a nice one, color Ooh, wine and cheese um, so this is this one it's called Ble uh, blissful scenes this is this particular type of photos that they have um, with this one and I'm trying to think of the name of the brand It's called color it so it's right here um, it's called color it but this one is specifically about scenes um, so I really, really like this one. This is the one I started because I think during quarantine I was thinking more vacation-esque. So it really spoke to me. And so this one is Tropical Scenes. And y'all, don't judge me, okay? Because I just, again, this is like about just having some little relaxation, decompressing, decompressing t like time. Um, so this one I feel like the images are a little bit lighter um, to color so um, whereas the, the font on the other one was a little bit brighter so this was the first one I, I did so this was the first one I did um, that I colored we didn't color the sky um, but I did do pretty much everything else I'm gonna show you another one you guys are all up in my you know my color one but <laughs> This was the second one that I colored. Um, again, don't judge me. I was just like playing around with colors. None of these kind of make sense. There's no rules um, with what goes with what. And and here's the next one that I started to color but haven't had the chance to finish quite yet. Um, and so it's just a black girl on the beach and she's enjoying her time. And this would have been me um, earlier this year if it were for COVID. But you know, we're just not going to talk about that. <laughs> So what I've done is I tore off um, the first page of the book and I actually put all my colors from the markers that I'm about to show you um, on here by number um, just so it gives me a reference of like what shade of red I like, what shade of orange I like instead of having to like figure that out. And I also use this page again as um, just a protector between uh, the colors, I'm sorry, between the pages as I color just in case the ink seeps through um but it doesn't do that as you can see i've used it on multiple pages and it, it still works out nice so here is all the colors that i have in here from the shuttle art marker book um so she has several shades of reds and blues and greens and yellows um lilac colors bold shades all these shades are just so fun um is dual ended so there's a fine what they consider a fine point which looks like that and then there is a broad point which looks like your typical marker which you can really kind of get around the edges i personally use the fine point for the most part um and then if i need to fill up bigger space then i use the broad end and they also have a colorless blender in here so it's like a zero but it basically blends two shades together to kind of create a gradient again it has like that fine point but not too fine and then it has the broad point um the broad end but they're all dual ended which is really cool they all state the colors on both ends of the marker so depending on how you put this down it doesn't matter you'll know what color you're actually picking up so i really love coloring guys like I'm, that's my little like if you didn't know anything about me 
now you know. My family, my cousins, they make fun of me all the time about this. But yeah, your girl loves to fill it. Something else I got from Amazon, we'll just kind of switch gears in because this is in front of me, is not this Hydro Flask, but the top. So the Hydro Flask comes with, I forget if I have the lid. I don't think I have the lid, but it's a regular like turn kind of like lid. Um, and so it came with the turn lid, but it had this handle on it. But so when you had to drink water, you had to literally like unscrew it and drink it that way. My little brother got me this, by the way, um, my youngest, and he got me the one with the straw, um, which was really cool. And it has like the handle here that you can like hold it and kind of drink and hold it like to carry it around or whatever, which is really cool. And it says Hydro Flask. It's like legit or whatever. He's really big about that. Like, keep it, keep it all brand name. Um, but what I did was I wanted, because it was black and it didn't go with the colors that I had, I purchased um, my... Makeup one here. Okay, so I purchased some accessories for my Hydro Flask. I don't know if you can see it, but anyway. Um, so this bottom is like a protector guard so that it doesn't, like, if you hit it on the table, you won't get any scratches or dents on the bottom. Um, and then I purchased this piece up here, which I got too. My mom has Hydro Flask too. This is our way of drinking more water. And what I love about this one in particular is that it's also a straw kind of feature and it comes with this strap to hold it like this. So this makes it so much easier. Um, and when I tell you this Hydro Flask, flask <laughs> is really, really good. It's awesome because it keeps your water really cool. Like you could put ice in here today and still have the ice still not melt tomorrow. Like it'll keep your drink that much cooler. Um, so the this piece is what I purchased from Amazon as well as the bottom piece um, and what this came with was a black and a purple one that matched my theme. Um, it came with like four or six straws. It came with a bunch of straws and two like pipe cleaners to clean your straw. Um, I don't put any smoothies or anything in here. I just strictly drink water because that's what's it's a hydro flask. I need to stay hydrated so um, that's that and I really really I really like it. Alright so your girl is old. Like, I think once you hit 30, things start to go downhill. <laughs> um, and so, no, it, 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 that's not the case. Honestly, I feel like what happened to me is um, I was in a car accident maybe about almost three years now ago. Um, and I'm grateful to be here. Um, I, I really don't want to get into details about it. But what has happened is that as a result of the accident i now have a couple herniated discs in my back um that actually causes severe pain to my lower back back spasms and even leg issues as far as like um sometimes spasms in the leg um and just um just pain uh, down the leg and so um i it, it, it just it just gets uncomfortable and it's mainly down my left leg um so i've been looking into i went to the doctors to try to look into what i could do to help um with the, with the pain and one of the things that they suggested was to wear compression socks and i was like well, I'm gonna get, i don't want those old like <laughs> those old like stocking socks to like you know like those are ugly so i found a couple of them on amazon um and they come in like six colors i'll probably obviously link that in the in this video but they have some cool colors and they're really really good um they look like soccer socks so no one really knows your business that it's compression socks obviously i can't wear this to work because it's the full like sock so like the feet is covered and obviously depending on what i'm wearing i just can't wear it but um i often wear it to go to sleep um, and I am supposed to wear it for like eight hours a day um, to help with the, you know, my leg pain, usually when I'm on my feet the most um, and so forth. So I wanted to show you guys what that looks like. Let me take this one out, the green one. I mean, yellow, neon green, not neon yellow. But they're really, really long, as you can see. Um, so this is like the leg part. Um, and he, your girl, like she's she's like a one size fit like you gotta get your, your leg in here um but it it does fit pretty nicely um and so and they're pretty thick too like they're like really good quality um so i really enjoy this it says hc i think that's the name of the company i don't care because i'm not going out with it it's really just like to be in the house 
um, they do make your legs warm but I wouldn't suggest like keeping them on all day because they do leave impressions actually they're not a one size this is a large extra large that's what I got um, I don't know if you can see it on the on there but it says a large extra large um, but they look yeah so I got some for me and I got some for my mom and um, she loves them. She used to wear like the stocking looking ones and she loves these a lot better. She says it doesn't feel as uncomfortable and she has like spider veins and stuff like that too. Um, so yeah, so this actually really helps. From a fashion perspective, another thing that I really enjoyed um, that I found, which I thought was really cute and I didn't expect to see, were some slides. And um, they are from a brand called Z. Ziggy Soho and I think I might have tried this on one time so if you see anything on here don't judge me judge your mama so I thought these were really cute like you know especially for the summer and you want to wear like a nice little summer dress and it's like the right peep toe kind of like situation um and it's nice and it's flat and it's it's just it's it's like a satin kind of material um so i love this and i thought it was really cute for me i am very particular about how i show my feet if you know me you know me but i don't really show my toes like that um and i love the fact that this cut is a little bit like you get to see a little bit of my toe cleavage like you know what i mean but um you don't got to see like the whole exposed toe and so um i think that 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 the more companies should do should create more of those type of shoes um but you know I, that's just my opinion um if i ever get there i will definitely create a shoe line for people who don't necessarily want to be out there exposing their all their toes you know 10 toes down we just want the white you know the nail polish to show because we did the work to like keep them clean and cute and everything but we don't need to have them all exposed but i thought this was really cute i got them in um in a nudish beige kind of color as well and i've been wearing a lot of that more um but these are really cute too like you can wear them with jeans you can wear them with like a long flowy skirt you can wear them um with a um i mean like just a summer dress um i wore today like i have like this little summer dress on it's very flowy and very baby dollish and um i actually uh have the nude ones on today and this is this is a size 10 I'm tall. I'm like five, almost five seven. I'm five six. Um, so I do have I do have big feet, and it's hard to find cute slides for us big girl feet. And, and again, like I said, it's called Ziggy Soho, and these are the slides that came with that, which I thought were really really cute. And um, yeah, go ahead Amazon for getting this. This was like a nice little find for sure. Oh, probably earlier this year, maybe before COVID. I'm not sure. I think it was a little before COVID were some headphones to um do some editing in. a lot of times with um editing it's kind of hard to focus especially if you're in a house where there's multiple people and you just really want to hear the sound and hear the quality of how things um you know basically sound um and so i had invested into some nice bright color headphones that come down and literally noise block blocks out the noise um and it's wireless which i love um these are really the cushions are soft and um you know i, I didn't want to go any, do anything super expensive but i did want to invest in something that was quality i wanted to make sure i could hear like the bass and everything and all that it plugs into just about anything as far as whether it might be bluetooth related and it charges with your typical like you uh whatever you call this one um I don't know what this charger is. This is the Android charger kind of situation. Um, it also has like the aux look end to it too. When I say this came like legit, like it was legit the way that it came, like the box um, and everything and the branding for it. It was really nice. I did stuff it up a little bit because I didn't keep it in this little box, but it comes with everything that you would ever need for your headphones and to keep them like in pristine condition. I just, I might not have done that. <laughs> but I love how like compact it is and so that's that I probably want to show you maybe one more thing maybe two more things 
Alright, so it's basically supposed to be like a marker organizer, um, kind of like a bag. But what I've turned it into as a freelance artist, um, makeup artist, is my lip bag. And I think it's so cool um, only because I can kind of see, instead of having like one clear bag that houses all my, my um, lip glosses and lip colors, like, I'm going to show you. Instead of having something similar like this, this is extra like overflow, but instead of having something like this, um, and that's where the color went. I'm just, I get distracted so fast. Instead of having something like this and you're trying to figure out, oh, what color do I want to, which is still not bad, like, because this, you can still see like the colors that you have. Um, but some people have like mesh bags and they just throw all their lip colors in. I think this is really great because this is how you're able to see your colors. Um, so I house a lot of my lip colors like this. And so I, do them by section and this is detachable by the way um so then i have like my pinky colors here and then i have my brown shades here and met some metallics and then i have my red and to plum um shades in here and again this is not all of it it also has a, a, a mesh little pocket so you can put palettes and i have some overflow um as well and then in the front there's also a zipper where you could also house more products so I have like Mac um, you know what is it called lip mixes and then I also have um, some Ofra um, sugar pill um, makeup revolution and then like a clear gloss from like the beauty supply store whatever I just need to throw in the bag real quick depending on what someone needs I just will do that but if someone's not really sure about what color they're looking for this is a good way to kind of see um, like let's say I want a color in the red or a burgundy family but I just am not sure um, you know what it is what I want let me you know pick that out so I'll just do that and then I have my um, my urbans I think I probably purchase my urbans too mm, I don't know if it's in a container store or online but you probably get this on Amazon too um, so I depotted some of my lipsticks and put them in here and then that's also in here along with my liquid lipsticks and lip glosses. So um, I thought that was a really great organizational tool, honestly. Um, and so, yeah, so I, I, I wanted to share that with you. And I think I'm going to leave, so I think I'm going to leave the other one that I was going to show you for a potential part two. If you enjoyed this video and felt like it was really, really helpful to you, I have tons more of things that I've purchased on Amazon um, from bedding to um, work supplies, um, work bags, um, skincare as far as like body care. Um, ooh girl, I could go in. It's just so many things that I've purchased that I think would be really, really useful to a lot of people if you're interested. Um, I can definitely create another video, a part two version of Amazon favorites, especially during quarantine that I've that are relevant to what people might be interested in today so i just wanted to leave you with those um don't not forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't um leave a comment below tell me what was your favorite find or if you have any of these finds or anything that you would suggest me to have um i even bought equipment off of here my own camera came from amazon so um me and amazon we find me right here we right here i just need you know some some additional funds to invest back into the company you know what i'm saying so but other than that for the most part i've literally purchased a lot a lot a lot of things from amazon and um i'm grateful that it is a resource that is here today so until next time i will talk to you soon and i can't wait to see you in my next one bye um so when we run out of power Yeah, that was like a thump. <laughs> anyway, we don't 